Hey guys, welcome back to Container Cross the Scary Cat Gardener. I am getting ready to prune back my pepper plants and I'm going to put some mulch on them so that we can overwinter them. So I just want to show you guys how I'm going to prune them back and why I think it's time, although I still see some peppers on them. I may not trim back all of them because I have quite a few in this bucket. Our temperatures are crazy right now. Right now it's like 35 degrees. It's supposed to be 78 today. Yesterday it actually reached 75. So they still are flowering. So I may leave them alone and I may just prune a couple of the ones that look a little bad today. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell and go over to Facebook and join my Facebook group over there, Container Crops. We've got a lot of interesting things over there. You can post your pictures, your videos. And if you have a question, I'm sure you'll get your answer. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Show off your fantasy reality, whoa. That's yours, but I'll keep doing mine. You'll be living your good life. Catch a glimpse from the outside all the time. Okay, so I have a few peppers out here that I'm going to grab. It's only a few just a few they didn't do too well this year that's why i'm going to try to overwinter them prune them back and see if i can't get quite a few more next uh next year these got a little purple one over here i'm gonna grab it these are mini mini bell peppers in here as well as regular ones that beautiful purple one right there and i have a couple of other ones on here but i don't think they are ready and I might grab them anyway. There's a little mini one over here. Grab these little mini ones. So I planted mini and I planted regular ones. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but as you, they're still flowering in here. So some of these I'm going to leave alone. I've got peppers coming up here, but the ones that's coming in, they look okay, but meh, I don't know. Now I'm gonna cut this out all the way out i have a couple of things in here that i'm just taking out all together here taking them out all together okay now this plant right here i'm going to get you guys up close in here bring you in so what I want to show you, if you're going to prune back your pepper plants and overwinter them, you see here's the main stem coming up right here, and then there's the V. You want to cut it. You want to leave the V and cut it about an inch or two, inch or two right above the V. So you're cutting all of that off, off your main V. And that should help them bush out and come back. And that's on each one of them. Your pepper plants come to a V at some point in time. And you want to trim them back just above that V. That one actually just broke off. Go ahead and cut that off. And yes, it's going to look bare, but that's what we need to do. You actually look like little sticks when you're done. I got another one just starting down there. Leave that and see what happens. Get all your extra little leaves off. You don't need those as well. This other stuff you see in here is garlic for pests. That stays. That stays. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim this up. And then I'll bring you guys back when I get ready to add the mulch. Okay, so we are back and what I have done, and I just did this with regular scissors because they're not thick branches. You want to find, starting from the base, go up until you get to that first V. And you just want to cut it off 
an inch or two above the first V. Get all the foliage off of there and everything. I know it looks drastic, I know it looks bare, but this is what you want to do. And I actually need to go back in right here and get this off. I don't need that one because here's my V and I just need this, this, I need to cut this off and this off. But I wanted you guys to kind of see where I was on it. Here's another example. Now, actually guys, what I have done is for people that are actually in really warmer climates whose temperatures don't drop down to freezing. However, I'm not con so convinced that I can't make this work in my climate. And I'm in zone 7B, and right now it's about 35, but it's supposed to be 78 later, and that's the way our temperatures work. So it was either do this or take it inside, which I don't typically care to take my plants inside. So I thought I'd give it a try. If it works, it will be better than replanting every year. By nature, pepper plants are perennial. So we're going to see. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a good layer of mulch. And I am using straw. And I'm just gonna add this all around on the inside here. All around. I could take my ropes off of here because I don't need those, but I'm gonna add a good layer of mulch down here and we'll be back. Okay, so I've got about a two inch layer of mulch in there. I just used some plain straw. As you can see, I did leave one back there with some foliage on it. And I did that because it's an experiment. I mean, hey, gardening is all about trial and error. So we're gonna see how my pepper plants do come spring. And I am going to leave them tied up here just because it's nice and neat. And thank you all for coming and hanging out with me today in my garden. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and tap that bell and to turn the notifications on when you subscribe. And I will see you next time. And remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And I'll see you on the trail.